Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a little DIY project and I am going to be repurposing this chalkboard. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and I'm going to turn it into a cork board. Now me personally, I hate chalkboards. I hate the way that it sounds when chalk writes on a chalkboard. It hurts my ears so bad. And a co-worker of mine left this with me when he left my job. And so I decided that I wanted to try to do a little project with it and we will see how it turns out. That being said, stay tuned if you're interested in seeing how I turned this chalkboard into a corkboard. And don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to quickly show you the materials that I'll be using for this project. And these clips are kind of quick, so I am going to just list them all in the description box. So let's get started. So first I am going to unroll the cork and measure it up against the chalkboard and once I get it all lined up the way that I want it I am going to use the exacto knife to mark where I want to begin cutting and then use the scissors to actually cut the cork from the roll. After that I laid it against the chalkboard again just to measure the piece that was a little bit long so that I can cut it proportionally as well. As you'll see, I kind of went back and trimmed up the edges a little bit so that it would fit better inside the edges of the chalkboard. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, this does not have to be perfect. And you'll see that mine was not perfect at the end. But I did not make it so clean because I am putting fabric over top of it and it doesn't matter what the cork actually looks like. But you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute. Okay guys, so somehow I lost the clip where I glued down the first layer of cork, but I followed the exact same method as you'll see here where I added a second layer. So I would lay down a little bit of glue and then press down the cork and then add a little more glue and press down the cork and I did it this way because hot glue cools so quickly and it dries and I just wanted to make sure that the cork actually stuck down. And now as you can see what I meant by my board was not perfect, that second layer of cork does not exactly line up with the first, it's a little bit short but like I said it doesn't really matter because I'm putting fabric over top of it and that little piece won't make that much of a difference. Okay, so now I am getting ready to measure my fabric up against the board so that I can cut it out for as much as I need. And I had one yard of fabric that I got from Walmart, which was way too much for that board, which is fine. So I laid it across it, and I wanted to make sure I had a little bit less around the perimeter so that I can fold it over the back of the board. And you'll see as I do this. <laughs> Now I'm just going to take the hot glue gun again and glue the fabric down around the perimeter of the board. this is my finished product right here and I am super happy with the way that it turned out I think it's so cute it was really easy it took a little trial and error with the cutting the fabric and measuring it because I didn't use like measuring tools or anything like that I just added out kind of measuring it 
as I went and just cutting with the exacto knife. But um, like I said, I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I love the way it looks. My push pan fits in there very nicely. I did do two layers of cork because it's kind of thin, and so I want to make sure that it wasn't gonna be actually pushing through to the chalkboard. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm actually gonna be using this cork board for my vision board for the year 2018. I know it's February, well, March now almost, but still, I feel like you're never too late to set goals and actually set them out so that you can accomplish them. So that's what I'll be doing with this. So stay tuned for that video. But yeah, this is a super easy project. And uh, like I said, I'm super happy with the way it turned out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in my next one.